The pictorial Sriwijaya This is a clarification about Sriwijaya There is no Sriwijaya kingdom. What exists is Kadachuan. Sriwijaya. There is no Sriwijaya Kadachuan in the city of Palembang. What is in Palembang is the Sriwijayanasa, sultanate with a leader named Kri Janayasa. Palembang is not the center of the previous Buddhism teachings. This area is Vatsal Vanua Kadachuan Sriwijaya which is located on 13 Koto Kampar Riau with the holy city and its center of worship is now named Muaratakas Temple. Palembang in the pre-Islamic era was among the many places in the Indonesian archipelago that studied the teachings of the ancestors of the Indonesian nation called Dharma. The teachings of this archipelago's ancestors were recorded on the Borobudur reliefs with the literary text of the word Kusaladharmabahana. Borobudur is not based on the teachings of Buddha who was born in India, but the teachings described here are the basis for these teachings. The teachings of the ancestors of the previous Indonesian archipelago were perfectly preserved in Bali and Bali, not India. This original Dharmic was brought by the ancestors of the Indonesian archipelago, the former Brahmins, the Saka or Aryans outside the archipelago. The Brahmanism brought its teachings from the previous Indonesian archipelago before the Veda was written which in the later period underlies the birth of the teachings of Buddha, with the N.T. Siddhartha Gautama as well as the teachings of Jainism, with a character named Mahavira in the 5th century BC. Simultaneously at that time the teachings of the archipelago ancestors brought by the Brahmins were used until they were written as Veda. In the future, these followers of Vedic teachings in India named their teachings, Hinduism, as self-identity and religion. Self-identity is not Buddhist, not Jaina and non-Islamic also to strengthen resistance to colonialist domination in the 18th century AD so the source of the teachings that were born in India comes from the previous Indonesian archipelago. And the original Dharmic learning center in the past was in the archipelago in Sumatra, precisely at the Muaratakas site is the landmark look at the location area and track record where did the center and the beginning of the Dharmic original teaching come from as well as the place of learning. If we drive to the site, Muaratakas, at 13 Koto Kampar 2 kilometers before reaching it on the left side of the road we will see a market there is a gate that shows the name of the area written, Koto Tuo. Kato Tuo, which is on the left side of the entrance to Muaratakas site, is currently near the left side gate to the Kampar River, there was this large area in pre-Islamic times as the dock area released the graduates to deploy carrying, Dharmic original. To be exact, the 6th century 4th year the 11th day of Saka year. Dapuntha Hyang, from the Srivijaya army did, Marlapas, instead of conquering the kingdoms in the archipelago, this was often done by previous generations. Among them is Rezi Markandeya, it is not true Markandeya Rishi from India, he is a native son of the archipelago. This is recorded in his complete lineage in the Lantar Sloka manuscript, Buana Tatwa, about Maharsi Markandeya. Sang Ayadi Mawang Sang Niata on Sira Neat Listu Complete, Wikaksanang Aji, Wibuing Main Literature. The Ayadi continued in the footsteps of his ancestors to become a hermit, he had the son of the Prana, as well as his younger brother named Sang Niata, who had the son of Marakanda, as an adult the Marakanda was married to the goddess Maniswini, the son of Maharsi Markandeya. Then Maharsi Markandeya married Dewi Dumara, sent down Maharsi Dewa Sara who was married to Dewi Waipari who then sent down many sons. Is there a name above that name India or is there an Indian source that mentions the complete lineage of the name Maharsi Markandeya who is the father, mother and wife, complete as above. Marlapas, is a holy journey, Siddhayatra, carries, Dharma, namely, Dharmic original. This is not Indian Buddhism, marked by his belief in Dapuntha Hyang in, God One, which was in pre-Islamic times called, Hakayo God Nanoso, Tiado Rupo, also the people in this area until now. Dapuntha Hyang, undertook the, Siddhayatra, holy journey, brought, Dharmic original, with 2213, Brahmins, or Brahmanism they are master graduates from Dharmapala University with their eldest son, Shang Hyang Dadu Kampala, stopping at the old mountain fostering the people and expanding the temple steadily towards Aceh. To the east and north, stop at Telik Kwantan to foster people with their second son, Shang Hyang Dadu Maharaja Buyang, and expand the temple on the hilltop. Boso, in the Boso Hills continuing to move to the east-south-southeast of Oku, Musi River, Si Guntang Guntang, Mountains Green, Kadukan Hill, Muara Kuala Tunkal, Dapuntha Hyang, left his daughter, 
Shanghyang Dui Puti Minang Kuk, who later became the kingdom of the Sultanate of Sribhajayanasa, pre Janayasa in Palambang. So there is no Sribhajaya Kadachuan in the city of Palambang. What is in Palambang is the Sribhajayanasa, Sultanate with a leader named Kri Janayasa Palambang is not a center for learning Buddhism. Palambang is one of several learning locations. Dharma is Dharmic original. The traditional elders here call their ancestors, Munyang or Muyang, on the island of the Punjung Bano River. Dakunta Hyang left his son named Dharma Raya, fostering and building the temple of the island of Punjung and Padang Lawas, which later became the kingdom, Sultanate of Dharmasraya. So it is clear that Palambang is not the center of the previous Buddhism teachings. This area is the Vatsal Vanua of the pre Islamic Sriwijaya village. Among many places in the Indonesian archipelago studied the ancestral teachings of the Indonesian nation called Dharma. From the Kato Tuo area, one kilo to the Muara Takas site, the right side of the road goes to the right. This is where the Dharmic original learning complex remains, where the artifacts are scattered, showing the former world's oldest university complex branched out in India. Nalanda, during the pre Islamic period, was named Dharmapala. When I sing 671, 695, Ad came, only his foundation was seen. Atisa de Pamkara Shrenyana, in 1013 AD came here he studied and was in the palace, Silver Umbrella, for 12 years. This location is to the west of the Muaratakas site, on a hill below which is the village, Tanjoang. When Korn de Groot 1858 came here and called it, Jandi City, a city with many temples. The name, Koto Tuo is derived from the word, Kato Tuo, text literacy, Koto, does not mean, city, but means, word, in the local dialect, namely, Kato Tuo, the initial name is called, Kako Nan Tua, the old word is, two sentences Shahada, this is where history records the time when, Kadachuan Srivijaya, became Islam. Understand once again, Kadachuan Sriwijaya before Islam was not Buddhist or Hindu when did Kadachuan Sriwijaya become Islamic in the archipelago, Islam entered from Aceh and the graves of the preachers of Islam sequentially from the beginning of their entry into the archipelago as follows. 1. Pasai 2. Johor 3. Malacca 4. Silver 5. Pity 6. Langsa 7. Lamuri this is about the Sriwijaya Islamic Kadachuan namely, when, Shanghyang Maharajadaraja Indra Brahman studied Islam in the 7th century second year on the orders of his mother, Puti Bungsu, third generation, Si Ampu, of the Kadachuan race before and after being called Sribhajaya, ordered to write a letter to Umar bin Abdul Aziz to send a Muslim expert. 25 years later in the 7th century 27th year a messenger came at the request of Indra Brahman to Abdullah Khattab, through a letter to the Caliph Umar bin Abdul Aziz of the Umayyad Caliphate, a messenger named Abdurrahman bin Abdullah bin Abdul Jabbar, was brought in. Shang Hyang Dadu Indra Brahman, is a follower of the original teachings of the archipelago, Dharmic original, is not a Buddhist or Hindu who was born in India. In this area, the history was recorded when the Sriwijaya Kadachuan became Islamic. Shang Hyang Dadu Indra Brahman, in the 7th century 40th century embraced Islam after studying it for 13 years and changed its name to Abdullah Amarula, and in this area, Kato Tuo, initial name was called Kako Nan Tua, known as Sobe Nan Alui, then published Sobe, from the word Sobaria, pre Islamic name, Shang Hyang Dui Puti Sobe Nan Alui. Nephew of Indra Brahman, whose mother is the eldest brother of the third generation, Shang Hyang Dui Puti Sobe Nan Alui. The mosque is on Katanka Hill since the early days of Islam from Malam Putia his son converted to Islam to Abdurrahman, since the age of 16 years was continued later by Buyang Malam. Abdullah Khattab, his grave was in Pidi Laksma Aceh, he was asked to the Rosalila directly by King Laksma, King Laksma felt a brother by learning from him three years later he went to Mecca, Sultan Laksma met the Rosal, the first person during the first Islamic era of the archipelago at the beginning 6th century when the Prophet first migrated in the last one-third of the Prophet's age. Abdullah entered via Baris at that time as an international port, namely the main door for entry permits that had to go to Baris before going to other areas, Abdullah from Baris to the old mountain where there is a portabi Padang Lawas temple and then to Harlik, or the old Delhi. Next to Joho, 
or Joric land which juts into the sea called Tanjung or Peninsula of Malaysia, formerly close to Malacca. Now in Malacca, he is friendly in Perlik to meet the Sultanate of Joho, named Maharajadaraja Saraputra, which has a mother and legs in Kadachuan. So the temples in the archipelago were also kingdoms before Islam, not Hinduism or Buddhism there is no Srivijaya kingdom, what exists is, Kadachuan, Srivijaya, there is no, Srivijaya Kadachuan, in the city of Palambang. What is in Palambang is the, Srivijayanasa, sultanate with a leader named Kri Janayasa. Palambang is not the center of the previous, Buddhism, teachings, this area is the Vatsal Vanua Kadachuan Srivijaya in the pre-Islamic era. Palembang is among the many places in the Indonesian archipelago where previously studied the teachings of the Indonesian nation's ancestors named, Dharma. The teachings of this archipelago's ancestors were recorded on the Borobudur reliefs with the literary text of the word, Kusaladharmabahana. Borobudur is not based on the teachings of Buddha who was born in India, but the teachings described here are the basis for these teachings. The teachings of the ancestors of the Indonesian archipelago were perfectly preserved in Bali by Santo Saba.